Hello, today we'll be discussing about the clinical anatomy of radius. The radius, as I said in the previous video, the growing end of radius is lower end because the lower end consists of the secondary ossification center which fuses two years later than the upper end of the radius. Another region is the nutrient artery of radius which is the branch of anterior interstitial artery which direct toward which direct to the elbow this is the nutrient foramen directed obliquely and towards the upper end through which nutrient artery of the radius passes through the most common sites of fracture in radius are at upper end lower end and in the shaft the fracture in the lower end is common in elder person when the fracture occur in the lower end the lower segment of the fractured part displaced dorsally and laterally which is more distal to the styloid process of ulna shape of fracture which has been seen is called colis fracture also this can be called dinner fork deformity if the distal segment of the fracture displaces proximally and the styloid process of radius is proximal to the styloid process of ulna then this condition is called smith fracture which is quite opposite to the colis fracture in young age it is very common the dislocation of the head of the radius displaces from its annular ligament which we call subluxation of elbow joint or superior radio ulnar joint these are the few and most common applied aspect of radius hope this video is helpful to understand and correlate its applied aspect with the normal anatomy of radius till we studied see you in next video till then goodbye take care